Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is your brother Yerushalayim coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. And this video is going to be entitled, You Have to Delay Your Gratification in This Truth. Alright? And it's, and it's based off inspiration from this video from the elder brother, Elder Kazak, out in Mississippi. Alright? Why a lot of brothers don't have women. Alright? You know, because, I mean, especially in this time, alright, a lot of brothers going through, going through a lot of, um, a lot of problems with women, all right, the wives, so-called wives, all right, with some of them, you know, in this truth, you know, a lot of the women, we women we with, you know, they, they, they're not really our wives, all right, because we didn't get their virginity. But anyways, you know, we go through a lot of stuff, a lot of stress with our wives, all right, nonetheless, all right, you know, women who say it in the truth a lot of times, all right, but, um, you know, for, 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 for brothers, for brothers who lost their, their, their wives, who lost their women, alright, and for brothers who don't have any woman, who, you know, who who going through their, 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 their situations, their various situations, alright, not only with women, you know, with the job, alright, financially, economically, alright, uh, every way, in every way, every way possible, you know, and your types of different types of afflictions that we, we as men and the Lord have to go through, alright, what we have to remember, you know, is, is, is to delay our gratification, right? And many times, you know, we fight to get things in this world, you know, you know, and we, you know, we flesh, the flesh pretty much fights against the spirit, you know, to, to attain certain things, to want certain things, all right? But, you know, the spirit, the spirit, you know, the things of the spirit, the spiritual things, you know, is, is what we have to cleave to, all right? And deny ourselves a lot of times, you know, in this truth, the, the carnal pleasures, all right? The, these different gratification things we wanted to, to, to gratify the flesh all right so what I'll do let me um in fact before I go into this video let me um get some definition here delay all right actually they have the whole definition here delay gratification meaning let's see if I could find that all right it says um, delay of gratification, the act of resisting an impulse, all right, to take an immediate available reward, all right, this is powerful reward, right, the act resi resi the resisting of an impulse, what's that impulse, that impulse is the flesh, all right, wanting to have our, 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 you know, our reward in this place, wanting to have benefits in this place, all right, to take an immediate available reward, all right, this is like a two-thirds, two-thirds to get the reward here, in the hope of obtaining a more valued reward in the future right so we given up on res resisting the impulse resisting the flesh all right you know of obtaining thing of obtaining women of obtaining money you know rewards you know you know in order to, to obtain a more valued reward in the future all right you know and this is what he meant this is what the truth is all about all right you you are you are this is the sacrifice that we're going through you know brothers and let me get let me get this video here and play some of it definition for the word optimum now let's just get into it okay now um it's a noun and uh it says uh optima or optimums you know, for a, a plural. Now, to be optimum, it means, for definition number one, the point at which the condition, degree, or amount of something is the most favorable. And our goal is, is to be optimum in the truth, in the spirit. Let's read that again. The point at which the condition degree or amount of something what we're doing what we're teaching right we're prophesying the the amount of something of what we're doing is the most favorable and to be at that point or degree 
or amount, certain brothers are demanded by the Heavenly Father himself through his only begotten son, Yahweh Bashim Shai, to be without women. Okay? To be at that elite level in the spirit, that just is what it is. That's your lot. You know, and for certain brothers, you got to accept it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Now, don't think that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is going to forget about you. He's going to hook you up. I got to keep quoting that brother out there in the West. You know, Brother Mike Allo. You know, so, you know, so, Lord, Lord, um, Lord is going to deny us on this side, all right? Deny us deny certain pleasures, all right? To give us everything on the other side, to give us the whole kingdom, you know? So let's get some scriptures here. Now for my talking, um, this is, um, let's get James 1 and verse 4. It says, it says, um, in fact, let me, let me, um, go to verse 2, James 1 and 2. It says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith will get patience, you know. The Lord is trying our faith. Alright, he's trying our patience, you know, as the brother, as the elder, elder Kazak went through in the video, you know, faith and patience, you know, two things that mentioned throughout the scriptures over and over again, precept upon precept, line upon line, faith and patience. So the trying of our faith, we get patience, alright, Lord trying our faith, you know, he's trying us to see if we're going to hold on, if we're going to delay that gratification for, to get that bigger reward in the kingdom, alright, or if we're just going to give up. All right, and, and, and take our reward now. All right, but no. Verse 4 says, But let patience have her perfect work. All right, patience. All right, patience is, in fact, let me get, let's get in me enough. Let's get patience. Patience. The capacity to accept or tolerate delay, right? Delaying what? Delaying your gratification. All right, problems or suffering. Suffering, right? You know? Suffering without becoming annoyed or anxious. This is what the Lord is doing with us. You know? Trying to see if we can if we could hold out. He, and he knows which ones could hold out. Alright? So the Lord, this is a test of patience, a test of tolerance. You know, the same way the Lord said, you know, we're going to be tested in the hour of temptation. Alright? You know, we have to, we have to, be, we have to endure that suffering. Right, endure suffering like a good soul there. Alright, so James 1 and 4. But let patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. So patience and delaying your gratification, it makes us perfect. Perfect in what? In the spirit. Right, it builds us up. It allows us to be built up. We don't have any distractions. Right, wanting nothing, nothing. Okay? This is how it is. This is how it is. We have to... We have to give up these things in this world to receive the spiritual things. The things that, 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 that mean more and that want to build us up to the point where we've been made perfect, to the point where, where we changed. This is Luke chapter 12 and verse, uh, start at verse 29. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. See the red writing. It reads, And seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye doubtful of mine. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth that you need of these things, right? So the Lord gives us what we need, not necessarily what we want. All right, because sometimes what we want is not good for us. All right, and this, this is something that we have to realize, and it's true. As it says in Micah 7 and 9, I will bear the indignation of the Lord. You know, having that mindset is where we have to be at. I will bear his indignation until he bring me forth to the light. All right? So all that we need, all that we want, you know, we're going to get in the kingdom. But for now, the Lord just given us what we need. So Luke 12 and 31, it says, But rather seek ye the kingdom of the heavenly Father, and all these things shall be added unto you. So when we seek the kingdom first, right, we delay in the gratification. We go, why are we not taking on things in this world? You know, some brothers, as they say, you know, woman is a major part. But the scriptures say woman is the glory of man. You know, and brothers do without women. All right? You know, I did woman left them, put them away, you know, and, and as the brother, as the elder Kazakh, you know, was going through the video, you know, this just your lot. 
that the Heavenly Father doesn't want you dealing with women. Some brothers, you know, are like that. You know, that's your lot. So for those you have to understand, for, for other brothers, it'll be something else. All right? It could be, it could be some issue in your family, it could be some issue in your job, it could be money, all right? Economic wise, you know, it's, it's all different ways. It could be, it could be uh, um, demonic attacks, you know, but you have to, you have to go through all it. What you have to go through that suffering, that affliction, all right? No, no two brothers have the exact same affliction, okay? So, Luke 12 and verse 32 says, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So, the Lord, so the Lord saying, don't fear when they're going through these things. You have to delay gratification and go through it, right? But don't fear while they're going through it. You know, fear only you are shy, all right? And the Lord is going to give us the kingdom. Make no mistake, you know, and the kingdom is, is pretty much everything. Everything you want, riches, money, women, all right? The whole works, the whole shebang, all right? Verse 3, 33 says, sell that ye have and give alms, okay? When it's saying sell what you have and you're going to that word sell, it's going to that word sell. Strong's G, 4453, Poleo, Poleo. It means to barter to sell, right? To barter to sell. All right? Sell what? And when we sell and we sell and we sell any things that is worth for spiritual things. All right? We sell and we barter and we trade in those things. All right? For spiritual things. Sell that ye have and give alms. Provide yourself bags. All right? Which wax not old. All right? And this, when you give, we give an alms, alms, is you know is, is basically you know we selling we selling the wool and we learning this truth right and we teaching this truth we give any the true the true arms all right to who the to who the people the chosen people you know the elect of the nation of israel provide yourself bags which wax not old a treasure in the heavens that fail it not all right and that's what we do and we storing up the treasures that fail it not we've sewn up the things that you can't see when where no thief approach it, neither mort, mort uh, corrupt it. For where a treasure is there, you'll your heart be also. Alright, so you know, we seeking the spiritual things, you know, as the scriptures say, the things that you, you that you don't see, you know, created and things that you see. Alright? You know, and we we you know through through our affliction, through our suffering, through the that gratification and going through it, right? We seeking the Lord with our whole heart. With our whole mind, with our whole heart. Let me see if I can get a scripture in Psalms. Psalms 119, verse, uh, verse 9. It says, it reads, Wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed unto the according to the word to thy word, taking heed, right? Right? Which means not avoiding distractions. Okay? There are many distractions in life. Right? In this life is many distractions. Verse 10 says, With my whole heart. I have sought thee, right? With my whole heart, your whole mind. Right? Which mean which mean you didn't which mean you're avoiding you're avoiding these things in life that's gonna pull you away from the Heavenly Father. Alright? We have to seek the Lord with our whole heart. Because what he, what when we do that, the Lord is gonna make us what? The Lord is gonna make us clean. Alright? Right? We can only be made clean by the afflictions and the suffering. Right? That baptism of fire and the Holy Spirit. The fire represents the afflictions, right? You know, not having women. Alright? You now I went through before that the woman is the glory of the man. Alright, not having certain certain luxuries in life. Alright, money, fancy cars, all these things. But you know, in the kingdom we're gonna get better than that. Alright? And what the Lord is what the Lord is really doing is keeping us from becoming entangled in this world. Alright? Keeping us from becoming entangled. All right, keeping our eyes single, keeping our eyes focused on Him. All right, let me get um, let's get book of Luke, chapter eleven, and verse thirty-four. It says, "The light of the body is the eye. Wherefore, when when thine eye is single, right, you're not you're not focused on other things. There are many camps." 
all right like like um for instance sikari that focusing on other things they've said focus on focusing on rapping focusing on making money by selling merchandise right which is using the awakening of your bashim your shy for for the personal gain all right which is despicable all right so it says the light of the body is the eye therefore when the eye is single thy whole body also is full of light but when thine eye is evil thy body also is full of darkness so we have to let our body be full of that light all right you have to let our body be full of that light you know in luke in luke um 12 and 35 it talks about that light all right it talks about the light let me um luke 12 Yeah, 35, it says, let your loins be good about and your lights burn and keep your lights burning, but keep on pushing your work. Put on the videos. Alright? You know, that, that's really what the Lord waiting for, you know, and waiting for, you know, want us to do. Alright? We had to sacrifice. We had to sacrifice the world on, on this side, you know, and to gain to gain the kingdom. Verse 36 says, And ye also ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord. That when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Watching what? Doing the work. Alright? Doing the work. And I'm not focusing on home life, on the problems with women. But that's what women give. Women can bring a lot of problems. A lot of, a lot of time. They take a lot of time to deal with women. Alright? And, and other things, you know, which can pull you out of this truth and all. Alright? So blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them, yeah. And that's what it's all about, you know, really um, three charity serving serving the brotherhoods, serving the brotherhood. You know, the Lord himself said that, you know, when the when the apostles were arguing about who's the greatest, he said what? He said the greatest is one who served the others. Alright, so you have to serve your brother in truth and sincerity. With that charity, that, that agape love. Alright? This is what we call to do. Okay? So let me bring a couple more scriptures. Uh, so this is 2 Timothy 2. And verse 4 says, No man that wore it entangled himself with the affairs of this life. Alright? So you're not going to... You can't entangle yourself with the affairs of this life. Studying too many women. Studying money. Studying power. Alright? You know, you are to be after the later gratification, put it off. That he may ple be pleased, that he may please him, so like you, who had chosen him to be a soldier. So, by us doing this, by us not getting entangled, alright? With these things of this life, what we doing? We pleasing Yahabashim Yahashai. You know, and faith pleases Yahabashim Yahashai. So by doing that, by, by, by delaying our gratification, what we showing? We showing great faith. You know, and that's what Yahabashai is looking for when he comes. He says, shall he find faith? On you, it's roughly paraphrasing, all right. And if a man also strive for masteries, um, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully? Yeah, we had to strive lawfully, we had to go through that straight, straight path, that straight road, that hardship, position of difficulty, all right, to make it into the kingdom, all right. And the husband, man that laboreth, must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, and the Lord give the understanding in all things. Remember, remember that. So like here, let me open that back. The app was ticking. All right. The husband when that laboreth must be partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, and the Lord give the understanding in all things. Remember that Yahweh Shai Mashiach, of the seed of David, was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble as an evil doer, even unto bonds. But the word of the of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah is not bound. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake. But what we do in we just instruments to preach this word for the elect. To wake up the elect. And to edify the elect, to build them up. Alright? That they may also obtain the salvation which is in Yahweh Shah and Mashiach with eternal glory. Alright? It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. So Yahweh Shai went through. All these sufferings, you know. You know, the scripture doesn't even doesn't say that I you know whether he doesn't say that, that Yahweh had any wife. 
All right, he went through all this suffering the same way. Somebody, my Lord, not gonna have any wife, not gonna have the, 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 the you know, you always shy, didn't even have a place to lay his head. All right, and that's the level of affliction that he went through. So it's, it's only normal, you know, the silver, not greater than the master, that you know, we aspire to be among those men, those 144,000. We're gonna have to go through similar things that he went through. Um, verse 11 said, It is a faithful saying, For if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, we shall also deny him. You shall also deny us. So we, have, we can't deny the Lord. We have to go through this. We have to hold fast and, and delay that gratification. If we believe not, yet, we abide, yet he abided faithful. He cannot deny himself. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to do profit, but to the subverting of the hearers, right? Focusing on the work, focusing on feeding the sheep, right? Not to profit, right? Not to this world, not to women, all right? In fact, these women, you know, they're not even women, right? Because a woman, a woman means servant, and they're not even submissive, you know, the apostle Gabba always goes into that. You know, so pretty much, you know, fuck these women, all right? Focus on the work, all right? You know, the Lord said, the Lord Himself said to deny yourself. This guy in Matthew chapter 16 and verse 24 says, What? Then, you, then said Yahweh Shah unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Denying yourself mean what? Denying the things of this world. You know, losing the luxuries, losing the money, losing the woman, losing the, 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 uh, the fame. All right? Bragging rights. You know? Being accepted in society, socially accepted. All right. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. All right. Take up the cross and follow him. For whosoever will save his life, right? The life not necessarily just being being put to death, but talking about you know the things of this world, things of this life. In niceties, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. All right. You know, so we have to, you have to prioritize in this truth, prioritize and plan. All right. Prioritize with the Lord, put the Lord number one, and plan. Delay gratification. You know, sit down and count the course. All that we, what we have to go through in this truth. All right to make it to the end, to receive that reward, but the reward is great. You know, we got to understand the value, you know, of the Lord's great reward, how valuable it is. And we can't even understand it. It's so great. All right. And the Lord not going to forget your works. All right. This is Hebrews 6 and verse 10. It reads, For the heavenly Father is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister and to minister to the saints. Right, to be like Yahweh Shai, what he did, it takes that, that affliction, it takes that suffering, it takes that sacrifice. That creates sacrifice. You know, delaying that grat our gratification. Verse 11 says, And we desire that every one of you who show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. So we have to show that diligence. You know, despite what we're going through, we have to be good soldiers. Alright? Verse 12 says that ye be not slothful. But followers of them who through faith and patience, there's those words again. Alright. Faith and patience inherit the promises. Alright? So you gotta have that faith. That's mandatory in this truth. Second Corinthians 4 and 16. It says, For which cause we faint not, so we don't faint. You know, but but you, you ought to pray. And that's what we have to do, pray always. Continue to pray. Alright? Pray for faith. Pray for patience. Alright? Pray for diligence. And, and of course, last but not least, you know, pray for charity. Pray, pray you know, that we be you love unto your brothers, you, you give to your brothers. Alright? Always consider your brothers not about you. It's not only about you. Alright? Alright? For which, so Second Corinthians 4 and 16, for which cause we faint not, but through our outward man perish. Do our out one man perish, which is his flesh. Yet the in one man is renewed day by day. Alright? So although his flesh perishing, you know, 
or you know we just have enough strength to just do this work all right you know the inward man is growing spirit is being perfected all right for 17 say for our light affliction which is but for a moment work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory so for now it seemed like it's a long time that we had been in suffering but really when you compare to the amount of time you know that we're going to the amount of time we're going to receive the reward which is which is which is for eternity right you know it's, it's really nothing it's, a, it's nothing it's like a it's like a it's like a couple minutes all right if so much okay it's really nothing but in this flesh you know it seems like something so that's why we had to fight and we had to pray all right verse 18 says while we look not at the things which are seen but are the things which are not seen so we have that we have that vision as the apostles always say we have the vision we have that eye self you know we we can delay that gratification because we could see and we could visualize the reward all right what's waiting for us at the end right so why we look not at the things which are seen no two thirds get caught upon the things which are seen but are the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal but the things which are not see, which are not seen are eternal and so we see the woman you know, walk around with a fat ass you know the nice shape right and you might long for them you know but at the end of the day that's gonna rot it's not gonna last you know many of these women are gonna be destroyed right many of the things that this world lost after the loss of this world you know they're gonna be destroyed all right you know but the things which not seen everlasting life and the kingdom you know gonna last forever and that's the things we had to hope for right for the things which are which are seen are temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal so we gotta have that faith brothers hold that faith all right let's get one more scripture ephesians 6 and verse 7 it says with with good with um with good will doing service as to the lord and not to men knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth all right the same shall he receive of the lord whether he be free or bond all right and ye masters do the same unto them for bearing threatening in fact no i didn't this this is not the one i've been let's read up to verse ephesians 6 and verse up verse 8 knowing that whatsoever good thing any man do at the same shall he receive of the lord whether he be bond or free all right so the lord is going to give us that that reward all right he's going to give us that reward but we have to put on that new man we have to endure the suffering and the affliction we must delay that gratification you know that 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 that, that reward and that worldly reward all right that worldly benefits in this place to receive the kingdom you know and anyway those who get the benefit you know now they're going to be destroyed scripture says in the second address nine you know um those people who receive benefits you know and have not and have load my law all right they shall know death by pain all right and we don't want death we want life so hold fast and keep and keep pumping all right don't give up all right i pray this lesson was edifying i want to give all praises on and glory unto you howa bashem yahweh shai bahashem raka kodash double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Wa abad babal and shalawam.